Hello and welcome to a very special Gundam Battle Operation 2, Sick Edition. This is the Dom Resonance TB, or Thunderbolt if you prefer. A very, very unusual looking Dom, um, as my brother had called it, the Armored Core Dom, which is nice to see that crossover, you know, gotta, gotta keep that popularity up and FromSauce knows where it is. So this is a 400 cost ground only raid with a ballistic resistance of 20, a beam resistance of 14, a melee resistance of 20, a range strength of 15, a melee strength of 25, a movement speed of a beefy 145, and a thrust gauge of 60. Which I think is really its only weak link in my opinion is it just feels like it runs out of thrust really quick. Then we have close range parts of 14, medium of 14, and zero in the long range department. So this unit's fairly mid to close range. And do uh, forgive, uh, I have a bit of a sore throat, so I'm a little rough sounding today. For equipment, we have the Dom R Bazooka TB. It's a rocket bazooka. It's pretty good, does exactly what you think. The Dom R H. Saber or Heat Saber TB. It's a Dom Heat Saber. Uh, it does, with its basic attack, thrust forward, and then its um, R2 downswing is basically it does one big swing and it propels it forward. So keep that in mind. Then we got the spread gun, your standard issue in Doms. We have the Dom R Storm Faust. TB, it's a Storm Faust. The MMP Machine Gun GN, which is nice to have as a sub weapon, and of course its grenade launcher attachment. Then we have the Spike Shield, which was kind of nice, um, but it's small, so you're only going to get so much use out of it. For skills, we have Assault Booster Level 1, High Performance Balancer Level 1, Maneuver Armor Level 3. Melee Combo Controller Level 2, Shield Break Mastery Level 1, um, Emergency Evasion System, Optimized Cooling Efficiency Level 1. Um, it's not bad to have actually in this unit, and makes up for it feeling like it doesn't have enough thrust gauge in my opinion. Anti-Blast Stabilizer, it's a melee unit, it kind of requires that. Enhanced Tackle, which is very nice. And that's level 4 on top of it. Shield Stance. Waist Special Cushioning. Well, that's a 30% uh, decrease in damage, which is nice. Ox Power, level 1. And High Speed Mobile Shooting. You press the touchpad to activate the ability. Enables firing during high speed movements while activated. I had a lot of trouble in testing this unit out with it, so there are people who probably have better demonstrations of that ability. And my basic opinion of this is it's a surprisingly capable unit. It's really big, it can get in trouble really easily, and because of how the game's set up, it can get caught on things that you wouldn't think it would get caught on. It has all the problems of support without having as many downsides. But beyond that, it's kind of fun and I kept having armored core flashbacks. So, if you're looking for something a little beefy, Dom style, and has a decent degree of shooting to support its melee capabilities, this is the unit for you. You could do worse. So let's see how it does in the match to come. Hello everybody and welcome to the match. Uh, hope you're having a fantastic beginning of your week and um, well you enjoy this um, oddball of a suit. Um, my other video I decided to delay because I wanted to turn it into a bit of a, uh, a talk on how to improve this state for uh, supports. Not by giving them more power but uh, actually giving them some incentives to do the support stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to start out by not going and grabbing the spot back there, but we're going to push forward and be a little aggressive. Now I saw a guy up here, so I was wondering if it was the support. So I'm going to jump up here with this other guy in my uh, armored core unit. See, it's the uh, Guff Custom from Thunderbolt. 
pop that in there. We're going to get shot before we put anything into him. And we're going to see what shot us. Well, first off, we're going to take a shot, hit him in the legs again. And we're going to put a little bit of pressure on him with five. And we're going to look at coming down on this Pizak. Drop down. And we're going to catch him, but not quite. And then get him with the downswing. But the unit is a bit slow and has trouble hitting things um, when they're on the ground. So we're going to move over here. Um, not open ourselves up to that. And we're going to catch him with that, but we're going to hit him in the shield. I'm going to keep moving. He's not going to be aggressive enough to ward us off. We're going to hit him with the bazooka and knock him, but he's going to roll out of it. But now I don't have to worry about him uh, trying to roll out of things, so I'm going to try to put a little bit more pressure on him. And we're going to knock him down. I'm going to swing over here and create a little bit of distance. So he can't easily get us. And then we're going to finish him off in the most asinine and overdone way possible with the machine gun. So there we go. Not at the top of my game. Fire. Miss. Yeah, put some rounds on uh, the custom there. He's going to try to get into a firefight with the support. So not exactly the best move on his part. But... I saw a support fire coming, so I decided to hang over here, and of course it drops on our support. So I'm going to push in, I'm going to pursue the guff custom a little bit. Um, I'm going to have a little bit of trouble, but get him with the rocket uh, bazooka. We're going to get caught on this piece of terrain. I didn't think I could, but it uh, caught me and wouldn't let me go, so we're going to get into a bit of a pissing match with the desert Zaku here, and I'm going to try to put as much damage into him as I can, uh, but I'm surrounded at this point, and I'm going to get uh, ripped apart. Uh, still not dead, so that's pretty amazing in and of itself. We're going to come over here. Our legs are broken, so we're in a bit of a hot doo-doo moment. We're going to get killed with a grenade, and bam first death at the five minute mark not too bad so we're gonna spawn at E and uh, our team's being fairly aggressive right now so hey that works for me so I'm gonna push up in support of two and of course he's uh, fighting our Hyzak friend our Hyzak friend's gonna get finished off by the support but I like to think of it as a moral victory um, we're gonna swing over near A now, I was kind of hoping the team would push up and we'd be able to capture it. But, yeah, it doesn't really happen. So, I'm going to try to capture this. But I had a bad feeling they were going to all spawn in at the same time. So, I'm going to decap it, jump into the, the unit, and I'm going to just boost the heck out of here. Because, no, not even once catch the uh, guff custom flight guy from uh, thunderbolt we're gonna knock him down we're not gonna quite get our attack there but we're gonna dodge and we're gonna fire hit him again dodge out of the way of that but we're taking a huge amount of damage as we try to fight our way backwards and um, well there's our Isaac friend again come in try to throw some pressure in to help our team but we're getting kind of pushed, and uh, I'm going to miss that dang poke every time. We're going to teach, get him to uh, do his attack, or uh, counter charge. Then we're just going to hit him with the knock now. And I believe, uh, hmm, is that a D2 or a Pell Rider? I cannot remember. I'm pretty sure it's a Pell Rider. Um, our team did come in with the save. We're going to do some extra bit of damage, but our legs are spent, so we can't really do too much of actual use. So we're going to uh, do what we can, but we're going to get annihilated. And there we are with our second death. Hurrah. Well, Agad, we're going to spawn at E again, and uh, we're going to push over, but we see that guy get annihilated, so we're going to try to swing over and, again, help our team, but they're pretty much cleaning up right now, so there's only so much we can do. So, 
like any good lad does, we come over to D and immediately start capturing that. So that's always a good thing. Got to claim those 100 good lad points, you know? Think of that for your team, everybody. Now let's get back in our armored core. It looks like a dom. A dom flavored core. So we're going to try to push over. We see some fire going up towards uh, 3. So I suspect it's probably the Hyzak, and there's their team. Ah, yes, fun times. We're going to get pushed, but we're going to move back a little bit. I'm going to let some of the others take initiative as we try to pop a shot off at the Hyzak. The team is going to basically pounce on that one guy over there. And our uh, Stormfowl is going to get caught by that shield. So... With uh, two over here, we're going to do a little bit of pushing. Catch that guy with that attack, go right into the downswing and get him. Oh, and uh, we're going to go ahead and catch him, get him with that, knock him down. And I'm going to uh, keep moving out of the, um, the combat zone as much as I can because, one, I'm a very big target. And I don't want to uh, get drawn uh rip the pieces over time so we're gonna throw in get rid of the hijack real quick swing over but he's gonna run away and i see a guy off to my right so i'm gonna shoot the storm faust catch him in the leg uh, not be able to flash him miss on our charge and he's gonna catch us with his down swing or down shoulder you know whatever we're gonna hit him with the uh, rocket and we're gonna take him out with the down swing Knocking our guy on uh, down and not being able to hit the custom as the match ends. Let's see how we did. And our armored core dom. Armored dom? Armored dom core? Who knows? There's something you can say. We got one board position and second place. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.